There, there are there are currently no people on this world. There are, there, of course, there are natural plants and there are animals that are native to this world, but there are no people on this world. Completely inhabited, uninhabited, no people, and completely undeveloped. So, den nye verden er da helt uten mennesker. Det er et naturligt dyrliv. Det er planter og vegetation, og den er da på måde ikke ikke udviklet da som en en, en jomfruelig eh, planet. So, but uh, how, how or when is the transport gonna take place and how are people gonna know that they're gonna? I have to. They have, people have to make some decision. I, I don't know. Yes, Whether they are going yes. to go or not, or how each one is going to know where to to meet up for. I guess there are no tickets. Um. Uh, well, no, 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 no tickets necessary. There are a few issues, and I'll take them one by one. Um, uh, when the settlers, because truly that's what they will be, just like the people from Tyrell to Earth. Yeah. When yeah. the settlers, when the settlers from Earth go to the Virgin World, because it is completely undeveloped, they will be given. Uh, so new technologies so that they can start their lives over. They will be able to have a, a nice easy start. So that's ja, ja. that's number one. Så det er da et vigtigt moment er at de som da blir da for for nybyggere på den den planeten der lyser fra jorden eh, kommer dit. Planeten er da udviklet, men de vil da få teknologi som en som en flying start for at få en komfortabel start på det nye livet. Right and Late next year, at least nor- based on Northern Hemisphere standards, mm-hmm. in the late summer, uh, June, July, August, roughly. Vi snakker om næste første gang i sommer 2013, juni, juli, august. Yeah, I've been told that this is the time frame when there will be announcements f- uh, for the people that want to travel to the new alternate Earth. Så da vil det bli information tilgjengelig for de menneskene som ønsker da å, å leve videre i, i 3D og bli med på transporten til en ny verden. Ja, yeah. and keep in mind this will be the time after many of the earth changes have taken place. Uh, og på den tiden vil da det allerede ha funnet sted en del andre endringer på, på jorden, slik at det da på en måte ikke vil komme som en overraskelse, jeg vet ikke. Mhm. Ja. 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 Så... Yeah, there will be, by that point in time there will be many announcements so that uh, for the people that want to go they can talk among themselves their family members and they will need to make decisions on their own as best for each family. Ja, så då blir det ett et diskussionstema, inte minst internt i i många familjer. Ska ska lika dra, vem blir vem blir vem blir vem vill gå och 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 slika ting då. Så då det är er poenget at situasjonen blir tilgjengelig, at man skjønner hva, som, hva det dreier seg om, og at den enkelte kan da gjøre et, et bevisst valg. Ja. Ja, ja, så det er det skal bli en amazing time for everyone, uh, and certainly for the people, people that want to have 3D lives, there is definitely an option for them. Så da er det veldig uh, amazing, veldig spennende uh, tider vi har i i vente, og for de som ønsker å leve videre i 3D, så vil de absolut ha en mulighet for å, å, å gjøre det. Så, um, nå skal vi la oss snakke litt om forberedelser og tilpassning til, til overgangen. Um, human adaptation and preparation for changes. Um, this is maybe uh, a bit about those who want to go on to 4D. Um, vil vibrationer fra følelser og bevissthet hos individer påvirke deres tilpassning til den nye 4D-virkeligheten? Bør mennesker fokusere eller endre noen av sine holdninger eller vaner for å oppleve en smidigere overgang? Eller for å bestemme om du vil fortsette å leve i 3D eller gå videre til, til 4D? Will the vibrations of the emotions and consciousness of individuals affect your adaptation to the new 4D reality? Should they have some focus or change, some attitudes or habits in order to have a smooth transition or to help decide whether to stay in 3D or go on to 4D? Uh, hmm. Wow, interesting question. Okay. thing I'll say is that this again this is truly a decision that uh, each person each couple each family will need to make themselves this is you know this is a unique personal decision yeah based based on each 
each of those entities, single person, couple, or family. It's a very personal decision. So this is also a personal decision for the individual. Either it is a family, it is a couple, or the individual on their own. And and the best recommendations that I can make to people, um, at least ones that work well for me, are um, go go out into nature and spend time in nature and be become calm, clear your mind, and do whatever you can to have a more open, loving heart. That is the best recommendation I can give. So the best advice. Fra Tolik er, er da at gå ud i naturen, være ude i naturen, opleve opleve naturen og og bare ligesom være være i hjertet og leve fra hjertet. Hvad tyder det så på at det er Open, yeah, being yeah. out in na- being out in nature yeah. and being in touch with nature yeah. and uh, the other American words I can think of are getting out of your mind, yeah. the vibrations. This reflects on vibration. The higher you go in vibration, yeah. fourth dimension, fifth dimension, the more those are literal, literal vibrations of love. The higher the frequency, the mm. more love mm. in each in each of the higher vibrations. So mm. the more you can get out of your head mm. <laughs> and into your heart, yeah. the more loving you can become. Mm. The easier transit, the easier your transition into 4D. Yeah. Ja, så der var var okay. ute i naturen og tøm hodet på måde at åbne op åbne op hjerte og jo mere man kommer op i, i vibration jo mere blir det som element av kærlighed ved at leve mer i hjerte vil man også få en en, en smidere overgang til til fire d. Right. So whether you spend time in nature to do this or you you simply call your best friends the people that you care the most about or your family members it is all about uh, shifting into a vibration of forgiveness acceptance and love those are the vibrations of 4D ja så då är det också enten du då välger att vara med de människor du sätter mest pris på med familjen eller du är ute i naturen så är det viktigt då att fokusera på då tilgivelse, acceptering og kærlighed, som er da lidt sådan frekvenser i fire dage. Yeah, That's, I know that people don't normally think of these concepts in this way, but again, the higher in frequency and vibration you go, those higher levels are of acceptance of love. They literally have a vibrational marker, a vibrational resonance to them. It's the best way I can say it. Mm, ja, det er litt ukjent for meg å tenke på disse konseptene på denne måten, men det er faktisk en, en sammenheng at jo høyere man kommer i, i, i vibrasjon, så er det da mer elementer av uh, kjærlighet. And, um, and uh, in, terms of, in terms of adjustment, just living from your heart will help the whole change happen easier. It just will. The whole that's your each person's personal transformation in January 2014. The more you live in love leading to that point, the easier this process will be for everyone. Ja, så det som du lever igenom lever igenom hjärtat, ju mer du lever igenom hjärtat, ju smidigare och lättare vill vill övergången bli. Um, for the enkelte. Yeah, that's and you know we we could you and I and many others could have a four hour conversation just on this topic, but it's probably one of the most important topics out of all of this. Um, yeah, it's uh, it seems like uh, it's uh, it's coming uh, changes and, and choices and adaptation big time yeah. and um, probably most people out there. Not yet. They haven't even got the slightest idea about what is a bit farther down the street and around the corner. So, uh, yeah, yeah. sure, it's, uh, why, it's it's important. Yeah, that's why I, I, I took some time to talk about what is the frequency of love. You know, why is it important? It's yeah. not important from 
it's not important from this whole love and light new age movement. It's important because um, it is a more natural way to live, and mm. it is the the frequency again is the frequency and vibration of the higher dimensions. Yeah, it's just it's a higher frequency. I, it's the only way I can say it. It just is. Yeah. And it's, yeah. So if you if you are if each person is being conscious about being more kind, more loving, more mm. caring, mm. it will make their transformation into 4D life much easier. That's the best one to translate. Yeah. Into Norwegian. Uh, yeah, but I'm afraid I, uh, I, I, I lost it. But you know, Tolik, maybe I think uh, that should be the last, the last word. And most Norwegians, they understand English and Without my translation, they have it very, very clear, very, very directly from from you in, in your language. So there are some okay. minor, minor questions remaining, but I think maybe this is so important that maybe we should just, uh, uh, yeah, stop it here. Yeah, I, yeah, this is a great way to to end the conversation. It's there are so many people asking me these days about what can I do, and they ask about sitting and, and, and deep meditation, all sorts of things. It doesn't, it really doesn't take this. It just takes a quiet mind and a gentle heart and being more loving. Hmm. Uh, and that, that is worth translating. Yeah, so det er, det er ikke nødvendigvis å meditere som er det eneste saliggjørende. Så det viktige er å ha et, et rolig sinn, Oh, sorry, I forgot. Uh, you had you said three points: a quiet mind and uh, uh, a, a quiet mind, uh, a, a calm, calm and loving heart. Uh, um, a rolig og, og elskende hjerte, et stille, et rolig sinn. Because these these are truly the vibrations of at least mid mid dimension, you know, mid level, fourth dimension on up. Yeah. The higher the higher you go the more loving the vibration is. Yeah, That's the best way to say it. Detta i vart fall mitt nivå på 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 4D med med de de vibrationerna från den fokuseringen på individnivå. Yeah. And and again I'm uh I'm not talking about this from a lot of people use new age terms. I'm speaking very plainly and very literal. Yeah. Just you know be be calm. Be kind, be loving to your your family members, your friends, the ones you care about the most. Mm. That's it. That's where your attention should be. Yeah, really. so vær, vær, vær snill, vær rolig, vær en synsfull om ting som særlig fordi du i det mest glad på at det er der det er, det er viktig å ha oppmerksomheten nå. Ja, yeah, yeah, so that's um, this is uh, I happen to agree with you. This is a great way to end and I want to uh, I want to thank you for having me today. It's it has been an honor to be here. Um, so, da er dette en grei måte å, å, å avrunde på, og jeg vil takke så mye for uh, ja, å ha satt pris på å, å være her. En, en, uh, yeah, en behalf of Norwegian people and the listeners, uh, thank you very much for this important um, groundbreaking and, uh, information which you have uh, delivered with so much detail, precision and uh, uh, and uh, patience. So thank you very much, um, Tolik. So, uh, uh, thank, thank, thank you. Uh, you are very welcome. Is it common? Is that right? You're welcome. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm, um, yeah, and ma, ma, tusen takk uh, til deg, Tolik. Thanks again. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Thank you. Talk.